How do you feel you've been developing as a player this year, not the mission? Um, I feel like it's going really well. I'm just trying to get the mindset of every day getting better and just really been focusing on doing the little things every day, taking care of my body and eating well, sleeping well. Has so there been any um, certain player or group of guys that have been helping you do that or has just been focused on you? Uh, my teammates are great, obviously. They always help me out, but Bob Medina has been the biggest guy for me, our, our strength coach. He's just... We do little things, we stretch a lot, we do just ankle mobility stuff, just all the little things every day that has helped me get to where I'm at right now. Does your body recover much differently than a couple of years ago? Yeah, it's still, you know, that's the biggest recovery time for me. It takes a little bit, but coach has been great. Practice has been a lot shorter. Just, we go really hard for a shorter time and body's feeling good. So ice is a good friend of yours? Ice, yeah, ice and stretching. Kyle, what's at stake for you guys on this road trip coming up, you think? What's on the line? It's huge. It's a huge road trip for us, but we're just going to take it one game at a time, Thursday game. And, you know, it's going to be a huge game for us because we've got to prove we can start winning on the road, and Thursday's the first step to that. you find yourself checking the, like, bracketology and where BYU sits as far as the NCAA tournament projections at all? I don't. I don't look at that because people that surround me will tell me all that stuff anyway. <laughs> so I don't look at any of that stuff. I just – try to win games, and if we win, we're going to be there. So that's the focus right now. You obviously won the round, but this team was pretty much on the bubble a lot of last season. Do yeah. you get that sense that it's an experienced group that knows how to, to deal with it as far as the importance of each game and not letting the pressure overtake you guys? Yeah, I think so. We're really focused just on Thursday's game. And I mean, we got to win Thursday, and then we'll worry about Saturday. That's just the mindset we have, one, one, one day at a time, one practice at a time, and go from there. You fall in the Olympics much since they're in Russia? I watched uh, ice skating with that 15-year-old Russian girl. Uh -huh. She did an awesome job. That was pretty cool. That's all I watched, though. You cheering for Russia or USA? USA and Russia. <laughs> <laughs> How far were you away from Sochi? I, mean, did you know I was probably was closer there? to you guys than Sochi, so. <laughs> <laughs> so far, pretty far. OK, anything else? As far as just day-to-day -day and everything, how much did his tie helped you. It, obviously, him coming off his mission, Coach Rose said, you're very similar in the success level. Has it been much of a friendship there? Yeah, I feel like as the season's gone on, Ty and I are getting closer and closer in a relationship. We talk a lot. We're team captains. So he just tells me to listen to my body and be smart. And it's been, it's been great advice. You guys are more vocal as leaders on this team yeah. right now, you feel like? Yeah, we feel closer as leaders. We talk often. like. Our relationship's gotten a lot better as the years gone on, and it's been fun, fun playing with them. Was that tough to maybe figure out wh who would talk among the three of you and who was the leader and who should say what when? Yeah, a little bit. It's just everything's new, a bunch of young guys, and I feel like our team's finally settled into the roles and leadership and stuff. Okay.